All right, guys. Today I'm going to do a little video. Um, basically, if you followed my update guide, um, you used all my files. When um, when you get done, you're going to have at least uh, three EXEs in your folder. Um, the three I used was the original v pinball x dot exe. If you used my update, that will now be uh, 10.7.4 64-bit. So that's what um, Popper is going to use as the uh, default EXE. So, but now you're also updated with the uh, V Pinball X uh, GL64. So that's going to run the new 10.8 tables. And then, uh, of course, you're going to have the 32-bit 10.7.4, which will be V Pinball X86. So. What you want to do is you're going to open up your popper here. You're going to go to your games manager. All right. Then at the very top, there's a tab called lookups. All right. So you're going to click that. And then you're just going to add your exes in this um, alternate launcher.exe box. So I can also add this other one I have. But basically you want to copy the name over to this box. So you can see I've already typed in vpinballx86.exe. That's the one that I use. Um, I think there's only like two or three tables. I know Ghostbusters and then um, I use it on uh, a baseball one. I can't. Anyway. Um, and then, of course, the new 10.8 GL64.exe. So once you type those names in, you're going to hit Save List. Then you're going to go back to your All Games. And then when you add a new game, um, it's simple, whatever the game is. So like, if I go down and look at my Ghostbusters, click that. If you look over here on the right-hand side, you can pick an alternate launcher. And that way, whenever you launch that table, that's the EXE it's going to use. Just as simple as that. So this, I'm going to use the X86. And I hit Save. That's it. Um, I actually did just change the POV. So if you open a, uh, a table, even if it's a, not a 10.8 table, if you open it in 10.8 and you adjust the POV, um, then it's going to need to run in 10.8. So I just adjusted uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. Let's have a look at that. I need to switch that. So here we go. We got Nightmare on Elm Street. So now I'm going to go over here to my alternate launcher. Click this arrow and I'm going to select the GL64 EXE that I have. Hit save. And that's it. Um, that way when... Uh, when you load a table, it'll use that EXE for that table. So we'll go over to the ends. All right, we got Nightmare on Elm Street. <laughs> Don't know what, but something okay, there is There it is. It's actually playing in Tim. There's something out there, isn't there? So that was actually in 10.8. Like I said, uh, that's all you need to do. Hope that helps out.